friends welcome to my channel and today I have come to discuss about motivational theory of Herzberg that is called as Herzberg's two-factor theory so this theory is very interesting like for example if I say when you are taking oxygen in whenever you wherever you're sitting now you're taking oxygen so is it what kind of factor is it a motivational factor or what what kind of factor it is because Herzberg said there are two factors if you listen to the whole thing you'll come to know what I'm saying so Herzberg said that uh, <coughs> there is uh, hygiene factors for motivation and also there is uh, you know motivational factors so uh, Motivational factors, most of us, we know what is motivational factors, but it, he has a different definition of that. So let us first talk about hygiene factor. He says that hygiene factor is like if it is not present, it will create demotivation. Like for example, salary, most of us will think that salary is a motivation. But as per Herzberg, it is not a motivation. It is an expected behavior of an organization that when we are working, the organization will give some salary. So this is not a motivation as per Herzberg's uh, two-factor theory. Oxygen for that matter, which I gave you an example before. Oxygen, if it is present, it is but natural. But if it is not present for five minutes also, we start complaining. Classroom or office is not clean, we start complaining. But if it is clean, we don't get motivated. It is expected that cleanliness is next to uh, godliness. So, uh, some things are expected and uh, those will not lead to motivation. Salary is a hygiene, but if you get an increment, you get a bonus it becomes a motivation factor. Uh, good boss behavior is hygiene again. But he is not behaving properly, he is not helping you, then it becomes a problem. So that's why it's hygiene. So hygiene factor, if you want to differentiate with motivational factor, what I tell to my friends is that you have to see that if it is not there, Will it lead to demotivation? So if it is not there, if it is leading to demotivation, then it most probably it is a hygiene factor. On the contrary, motivational factor, if present, will give you motivation to do work better, like recognition, like increment in salary, like promotion. So these are the some points which are motivational in nature. So Herzberg's two-factor theory is a very, very critical theory which can, uh, you know, you can, you can analyze and uh, what we have to, as a manager, we have to do is that we have to uh, try to reduce any problem created because of hygiene issues, hygiene factors. We should not give some, we should not uh, uh, make people void of these hygiene factors. If we make them void of these hygiene factors, then obviously there will be a negativity. So once a person is negative, no matter how much you will try to motivate him, he will not get motivated. So negativity has to be reduced and motivation has to be increased as per this theory. So what is motivation? You have to give him better uh, opportunities, better uh, recognition, better uh, responsibility, higher responsibilities. So basically when I am saying, now what I am trying to, uh, if you want to identify these two things, motivation is not usual thing generally not a usual thing it is a deviation something incremental something better uh, which has happened to that employee then it is a motivational usual things are generally hygiene factors so i hope you understood uh, the theory of uh, Herzberg's uh, two-factor theory of motivation and it is a very very important theory and uh, if you want to know more about this theory, you can uh, see other references. This is just a basic core concept which I have told you. So that because generally we are getting confused 
between uh, many of my f friends and students are getting confused between uh, hygiene how to identify hygiene how to identify motivational factors so i have told you some idea how to do it and uh, this particular theory is very simple no need to get confused and these two factors are very critical as a manager even in the industry these uh, things should be uh, you know where most of us we think that oh this is theory this is not practical no it has to be every practicality comes from a background so if you have some idea about the background of many theories then definitely you will become a good manager so i wish you good luck and if you have any doubts you can contact me on my mail I am definitely available for all of you. The basic idea for this particular small uh, uh, videos is that I would like to share my knowledge because many people, many students, many uh, employees are not able to get the knowledge and that is important to share. Even I encourage others, teachers and others, uh, industrialists and the people who are from the industry to share their views. You should have small uh, sharing because everyone has not a privilege of getting this information all of us not are going to the universities or the schools so wherever we can share to the society it is good thing so wish you good luck and definitely you can contact me and i will respond thank you very much have a nice day